In the 1950s, on average, a woman would give birth to five children in her lifetime. Today the number is half that. Globally, every woman gives birth to an average of 2.5 children. But how do we know this, and what does it tell us? Statisticians take household survey and census data from countries and look at how many children women of various ages reported they had. With this data, they calculate age-specific fertility rates for women of different ages, and then combine these data for a given year and a country to calculate the total fertility rate. This number is great because it lets us compare data between countries and to track trends over time. Since the 1950s, as countries have gotten richer, fertility rates have subsequently gone down. There are several possible explanations for this trend. As people get richer, we also see reduced childhood mortality and better educated women. Look at Côte d'Ivoire. From the 60s until 1980, fertility rates remained high as under 5 mortality was coming down. But then suddenly, as soon as more children started living past their fifth birthday, you see fertility rates dropping well below the regional average. How about Egypt? In the 1970s, less than 40% of girls completed primary school, and in the last 30 years, that number has gone up to more than 90%. At the same time, fertility rates have halved. As you can see, fertility tells us a lot. You can access over 50 years of fertility rate data in the World Development Indicators online, and you can use tools like Google's Public Data Explorer to see for yourself how fertility rates correlate with other measures of development.